So if you guys are like me, you just probably installed the new Photoshop beta that Adobe Photoshop just released with the new generative AI. Um, I know I did, it's something I've been playing around with. I'm gonna put out some videos so you guys can see some of the power that comes along with it. But the one thing I noticed about the new Photoshop beta is it didn't bring over my actions from my original, I think it's Photoshop 2022 or 2023. Yeah. Anyway, in this video, I'm gonna show y'all how to migrate your actions over from your old Photoshop to your new Photoshop if you're using the new beta. So you guys can see this is the new Photoshop beta that Adobe released. I've got my actions tab open right here and you can see it's just like the generic actions that they include within Adobe Photoshop. And uh, if you guys retouch, you know how long it takes to retouch without actions. So let me show you how to, how to get them over. I'm gonna close out of this and then open up your original Photoshop application. Once you've got that open, um, you can really just create a new file, like a, a blank uh, workspace to work out of. Um, and then make sure you've got your actions tab open. If you don't, click window and click actions. You wanna open that. And then you can see this, these are all the actions that I have um, that I use. And so what you wanna do is you wanna click on one. Oh, by the way, if it's not in, if it's in button mode, click this little three dot button here and then check button mode because you don't want it to be in button mode. All right, now that you've got your actions open, the first thing you want to do is click on one of your action sets. So I'm going to click on this first one. I'm going to click on this little hamburger button right here and then click save actions. Um, I created a new folder um, called actions. I'm going to just save it in there. Y'all can see it saves as an ATN file. I'm going to click save. I'm going to go to the next one, save actions click save and I'm gonna do the same thing with each of these with all the actions that you want to bring over um, click on that click save actions and this is the last one I'm gonna save actions on that bada bing all right cool now that I've got those saved in a little actions folder I can go back I'm gonna X out of this now I'm gonna pull up the beta again and all we're gonna do is we're gonna import the um, 18 files that we just exported from the original Photoshop over to the new beta. So uh, I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna click new file. I'm gonna just create, open a, um, and there you go. You see the actions are here. These are the originals. I'm gonna click this hamburger button here, turn off button mode. And then I'm gonna hit the same button and we're going to load actions. Um, this is where they're supposed to be saved, I think. I'm not sure actually, but I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna go to desktop, actions, and I'm just going to select this one, click load, and then do the same thing over and over. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you wanna do it a little faster, you could do, um, what you could do is save them automatically to that folder. Only problem is it takes a while to find it um, it took me forever to find where that folder is actually supposed to be. So um, this way is just easier. Just find the like, create your own folder and then you'll just pull them straight out of there. It's not a big deal. Um, load actions, click soft, bada bing. All right, it's just, it was just that easy. So, you know, all your actions are in here. You can use them, play them, and they'll work just fine. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if it was, make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.